What are you looking at? Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're well. Uh, today is a pretty beautiful day. If you can see the blue sky, I don't know. Um, but today is a double run day, which makes it even better. So it's a, good, it's a good day. This morning, I've just got like a 30 minute, really easy jog. Uh, I'm doing it fasted, really enjoyed, really enjoyed doing that. And I'm gonna include a couple of drills just to get the body ready, activated, loosened up for later, where I will be doing more of a tempo style run. I'll talk more about that session a bit later on. And I'm hoping that I can drag uh, one of the family members out on a mountain bike so that they can follow me and do some cool filming and make it look good. There's two deer right there. Oi! I don't know if you can see them. I can't see on the little GoPro screen. Out there. Beautiful. I really hope this lighting is okay because there's there's a lot of clouds out at the minute and then suddenly there's harsh sunlight so um this footage might look a bit shit <laughs> i really hope it's okay but i know a few of you probably won't have done a double run day before you might be a bit skeptical of doing double run days or you might be interested in doing a double run day but not too sure how to necessarily structure it. Uh, what I would say is it's definitely something that you should ease yourself into. You shouldn't just jump on it straight away and you shouldn't do too many of them as well because running is a very high impact sport. So you wanna make sure that you don't, um, you don't absolutely hammer your body and then obviously you know, you're very likely to get injured. I remember watching a video, it was 48 hours with Tim Don or something. I remember it being a pretty decent video and he used to do, I don't know if he still does it, but he used to do three runs in one day and I think he called it Kenyan day or something. And he would do like a 10K easy in the morning, track in the afternoon and then tempo in the evening, which to me just seems absolutely bonkers. Um, obviously if your body can take it, then that's great. I mean, he's a top end athlete, but um, I definitely wouldn't recommend it for everyone, <laughs> that's for sure. So for anyone out there who's doing, let's say an Ironman, well, you probably won't be doing one anytime soon, but <laughs> if, you're, if you are an Ironman distance athlete, that's that's what your training should be all about is like how much pain you can take for the longest time possible if that kind of makes sense so um actually training under fatigue is literally what you what you're going to be doing you're literally training your body to get used to being tired and to just deal with it so doing double run days is actually a very good idea for you lot and maybe yeah you do a harder run session in the morning and then in the afternoon it's just a longer easier run it doesn't even have to be that long but it's just training your body to get used to that load and to for your body to go yeah my muscles are tired but i'm just going to keep going the session that i'm going to do later or well i've had lunch now so i'm probably going to go out in about an hour hour and a half um is just a pretty simple tempo run it's two by ten minutes so it's not that long it's not that crazy i've managed to convince my mum to come out with me on the mountain bike so should be able to get some footage i obviously need to swap to my gopro i'm sure no one's gonna realize the difference in quality <laughs> seamless transition i'm sure no one noticed mm. come on then Wow. <laughs> She's cool. She's really cool. <laughs> okay, so I need to start my watch. There you go. Uh, we've got 20 minute warm up. And then like I said, two by 10 minutes. Um, can't remember how much rest it was in between. Probably take about two minutes. And then about 10, 15 minute cool down. Postman looking at me weirdly. <laughs> Thank you. 
just the first 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, like I said, good days and bad days, and today certainly not very good day. So, um, yeah, had five minutes of like okay running. Started at 3:20, up to it's about 3:10. Wanted to push on a little bit more from there, but uh, back just seized up completely with like six minutes. Um, yeah, it was like shit. So we'll see how the next one goes, but. Um, it's a bit depressing because the legs, the legs and the body feel good, but the back feels like shit. So anyway, let's get going. So yeah, that's that session done. Um, oh. Not the session I wanted, not the session I was looking forward to, but I did it and I got it done. Uh, yeah, wanted to feel good, didn't feel good, but some days you have those days. Uh, I guess you wouldn't know what a good session feels like if you don't have some bad sessions, so disappointing, but yeah, everyone has off days. This back is usually pissing me off though. Some, some sessions feel like a hammer, some sessions you feel like the nail. That session kind of felt like the bit of wood the nail was getting hammered into did not feel good. <laughs> Doing a lot of sitting outside today, aren't I? <laughs> that session didn't necessarily go to plan, but like I said, some days you have good days, some days you have bad days, and unfortunately that run just wasn't wasn't that great. Um, I know I said at the beginning of the video I really like double run days. Well, now I do not like them at all. <laughs> uh, but no, all joking aside, it's it's you need to have sessions like this. Um, unfortunately, my back has been causing me a bit of issue for a while now. It's frustrating because. I know that I can push harder and I know my legs are capable of more. Um, I was running then at sort of like between 310 and 320 per kilometer pace and I knew I could go harder, I knew I could get down to like three minute pace, um, but my back just my back just wouldn't let me. I always say to the athletes that I coach, just even though if you have a bad session, just leave it behind, don't think about it, just you know, you got the session in the bank, that's what matters and you now need to think about how to go about making sure that your next session is the as as best it can be and the best possible session that you can make it be so so i've got a, a t3 race tomorrow morning and literally i'm just gonna actually probably have a couple of beers tonight so that really won't help <laughs> but um just yeah i'm just gonna chill out to be honest uh but yeah if you have a bad session like i just did don't worry about it. Overall, not the best day I've ever had, but not the worst. So yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the video, you lot. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, as always, please like, please share, please comment, and please subscribe if you haven't done already, just by clicking over to my right. And if you wanna watch another video from my channel, just click below and I'll see you in the next one.